What up, what up, we feel, what up, y'all, we, what it do, welcome back to the we feel, y'all, welcome to you, if you knew, hey, welcome to you too, this is your girl, La T, here at Terrence and Week Show, you show enough, never know what you're gonna get, beloved, you just never know, um, we are a spiritual reader, a channel messenger, we're gonna bring a message, a reading, so if you are interested, stick around, beloved, and stay through the ending, because it always, pretty much, you know, turn out to be something good and edifying for the spirit, you know, so that we can be spiritually strengthened, get an alignment to bear the yoke that has been placed upon us, beloved. It could start slow, warning, it could start slow, like that old school Crisco. You had to get it out the can and into the pan, and the alpha and omega, they come in and turn the heat up, and we get to cooking. So the alpha of us, the omega of us, the beginning and the ending, I... Uh, highest representation of self. We are pixels and pieces of the source itself and it speaks to us. So <laughs> we come bring a message and if you into it, stick around, beloved, it should be good. Definitely have been picking up the energy of, we hear pray more, so we have to pray we spiritual, not religious. So sometimes it can get a little bit controversial. Uh, don't know where we're going down today. I just don't, you know, they have to tell us, I say, but we did get like the energy of the past returning, right? Issues from the past coming back and you have to redress them. So depending on what that means for you, beloved, it could be business, it could be relationships, it could be just life, be life in, in general, beloved. It could be children. It could be a number of things, but I definitely get life, life in. Like you having uh, to redress certain issues that you thought you had fixed. Like it's supposed to be fixed, it's supposed to be done, moving on with life, and now it's back, beloved. We just had that. So testimony to Tarot. Uh contracts you know you hire people to do something and they're supposed to do it right and then they don't and then now you have to go back and get them to come back and fix what they supposed to have already fixed so i don't know who else go through that shit but that's what we're going through and you know testimony um the good thing is that um keeping good records is a is a thing you know dates, times, phone numbers, estimates, you know, agreements, all of it. Read the fine print, beloved. I am definitely getting the energy of, you know, the details, like walking through the fine print, walking through the details of contracts, beloved, because people will try to get you. They will, um, rob you <laughs> essentially is what I'm getting but it's like getting over you know doing shit that's just like low vibrational like bad ethics and morales especially in business and relationships we're picking up um we've also been getting the energy lately I want to say for quite a minute of people stealing we always talk about the trials of the chosen, life be life in, and we are prepared for our purpose through the circumstances of life. And a lot of it is contracted, like soul contract. And how do we read the fine print of your soul contract, beloved? <laughs> That's the question. Most I got Alpha Omega. We come to you seeking, seeking diligently for understanding, for knowledge, so we can understand. Um, how is it that we? I'm hearing Akashic records. I'm hearing meditation. Right? Like, how do we know what's in our contract? Like, what the details are, and even trusting that every provision has already been made like so if you are again operating diligently you are keeping records you are keeping you know reading the terms of your warranties and you know what's included and what's not included um agreements with other people beloved did they write it okay did uh you you know, start, you know, some sort of business or agreement with family, friends, uh, small local businesses, relationships, 
Okay, because I'm not saying that everybody need to just be on that prenup game, but we might need to be on that prenup game. Okay, because people get into relationships and they start investing with one another and then somebody decides to renege because they feel a certain kind of way. It should be some recourse for that, I say. It really should. Yeah, I think it'll make uh, divorces, um, breakups and separations, stuff like that, a lot easier if you could hold this person accountable for what they said because if you said it and you said it and you should mean it which means you should be able to put it in writing and agree to it formally i'm just saying so we also been getting the card of photo evidence so all these people who have been getting stolen from some of you actually have evidence of what was done to you yes you do because it's a lot of memes not memes yeah, somebody is posting something about you on social media. Their memes are directed at you. I got that out of the um, Evil Eye Oracle deck. So that definitely applies for somebody beloved. Um, but what were we getting ready to say? Oh, yeah. Other forms of documentation. So if you communicate by text, um, if you have pictures, if you have, you know, agreements through email, all of that stuff comes into play in terms of um, giving context to understanding and agreements before you get into something, before you do it. Because if a person committed to you via email, then that's definitely something that works well for you. Um, what else were we picking up? Um, definitely healing, healing waters, right? Um, balancing out your emotions, staying tempered is another, um, energy we've been getting. So I feel like today, you know, remember that all things are possible. That's the cup for those who believe. And we did get the Hierophant and we got, um, four source energy with it. So heal, um, some things are that you thought were going to be that were laid to rest. You're going to have to redress it and heal from it again, beloved. Um, but it may actually provide some sort of closure to assist with the healing I'm getting. Um, bridging a gap or closing the door on something, moving from one space to another, almost like the threshold, like the space in between. But I'm feeling something like close. It's coming close. It's, um, it could be now for a lot of people. I mean, again, we're redressing something now. So that's definitely, you know, resonating with us. Um, what else were we picking up? Hierophant. Again, all things possible to those who believe. Hierophant speaks to our beliefs, right? And somebody could be traditional, but I'm just getting spirituality in general. However you express your spirituality, it is what it is. Uh, we can, you know, talk about certain things when we do. We get thick with it. So sometimes it's a trigger warning, beloved. But um, in regardless to all, the source of all of us, I mean, like the beginning and the ending, that which called the word forth, however you slice it, um, is, is um, I feel like if you believe that all things are possible through it, for creation is the result of it, right? It's those possibilities, the potential for everything to be fulfilled and manifested. Know that you're going to be victorious. Like it's going to be what it's going to be. And if you are on the upright of things, then you can redress this past issue that's coming in a way that I feel like is supported by your documentation, your understanding, your diligence, your commitment, your uh, determination. I'm seeing willpower. I'm seeing persistence, persistence, um, almost stubborn. Like I shall not be moved. I'm getting nine of wands energy. Um, you will overcome this obstacle and I feel with more strength and uh, I'm getting assertiveness, knowingness, directness, like uh, first, right, energy, number one. You will be victorious. You will be on time. I feel like you will move forward. You will get over it. And you will be better for it. Thank you. We see seven of swords energy. That's what was left on the bottom of the day. See, lies, deceit, cheating. You know, people that are just not upright and 
pretty much every industry. Um, we are, look, hold back energy or people who hold back, you know, um, holding on to money, resources. We see Queen of Cups. I'm also feeling management of your purse and your resources, your energy, holding back your love, you know, holding back some of your emotion, like very emotional. I'm getting deep emotions and being, having, being called to pull back on those emotions. Again, we see knowingness, like inspiration, third eye chakra, vision. I'm even hearing now Akashic Records again, like, Knowing that the Most High God is going to work out, is going to work things out. The Most High God is going to work things out, to know it, to see it, see it being done. Like being grateful for the resolution before it even happens, believing that all things are possible. You know, focus on that, on the goal. And look, we got commitment here, goal. Let's be mindful. We see Queen of Swords energy. I'm feeling, you know, your dedication, determination, your intellect, beloved. Again, we spoke about reading contracts and going over to fine print for, um, you know, just in general, beloved. Which one? That's a lot. A lot of energy. I see opportunity for growth and it's something mirror, mirroring. The mirror is here. The mirror, looking in the mirror. We see creator of happiness as well. This one. We see play. I am completely engaged in what I do in the here and now, and I call it play instead of work. I'm getting let things play out. You know, don't take things so seriously. Lighten up. Life gonna be lifing, and it definitely can be heavy, especially when you're going through really tough shit. So make time to play. I feel and be lightheartedness. It could also be talking about you playing with your gift, um, or somebody might be trying to play in your face also with this message coming in. Supposed to be good news, but I heard somebody say play in your face. So I'm just putting that out there. Um, like somebody could be playing in your face right now and they think that what they doing is a game. Like I'm getting that together. Somebody that you were supposed to be uh, working with or you will be working with somebody. Maybe you went into something thinking that y'all was going to do it together. Right? I love working together with others and how it makes one's impossible dreams possible. See, you could have, I'm getting that, invested with somebody out of emotion, you know, and got into some sort of partnership contract, thinking that it was going to be possible for you or them, you two together, to work together and either you pulled your energy back or somebody held everything, like selfishly took something and holding it. So take whichever um, circumstance resonate, beloved. But there is something here. I'm feeling both, like all things are possible. You're gonna get a vision or you just um, can see it, like see it being done. subconscious mind yeah see so see it in your subconscious mind you know that it's going to be done i realize that subconscious beliefs and we mentioned hierophant or programs may be holding me back from my desires it may be like rumination overthinking stressing you know what i mean like instead of just knowing that it's done we get like that you know what i mean um just think if you pay somebody to fix your car and that same issue happens to you within a year, then you're going to be like, wait a minute, what happened? Then get upset. Like, why do I have to deal with this now? Why am I dealing with it again on top of everything else? I thought it was done. I thought it was fixed. And now I got to go back and redress it. Even like us, we got upset with the spirit. Like, uh, see conscious focus and we see infinite creativity we have food, somebody may need to eat better, but it could be, again, those situations in life that come to edify us, to feed us, to strengthen us in some sort of way. And we see casting spells, watch the words that you say, right? And mirror, again, pull that back out, mirror. 
you know, what is your heart mirroring? Be careful of your heart posture in terms of what you're feeling and what you're saying is what I'm getting. It says, in order to change my life outside, I need to change inside. Once I am open to this change, my exterior reality will begin to mirror those shifts. Again, making your words match what you want to see. If you pull those words from the inside of you, it's from the inside out, beloved, from your heart, uh, you will speak, right? So if you are calm and tempered, we're saying temperance angel, and just know, believe that all things are possible. Whatever is brought to you is going to be resolved like it's already done. It's already been called and decreed. You're going through the process and you cannot see, right? So I feel like meditation, tapping into your Akashic records, asking for revelation on what's in your spiritual contract and understand that everything that you go through is a part of that, right? It's a part of those possibilities coming my way. That way you can see what's coming your way. Have a little bit more knowingness. And I'm feeling definitely, of course, otherworldly outside of our 3D reality world. We, all of these other spaces and places, unique opportunities align with my desires, present themselves to me. They will. I attract all that I need to make my dreams a reality. So sometimes the things that come into us, even if it's something that we have to redress. It's something that we bring in or is brought into us, attracted to us so that we can heal something. Truth, right? Getting messages. And it's considering good news, right? Even if it don't feel good, but, you know, say if you just bought a battery for your car and that battery is supposed to last like three years or whatever the case may be. And it's only been a year and you got to get a whole nother battery. You're going to be like, what the hell? But you having to replace that battery within a year could give you a heads up on something that's a bigger issue. And you have an opportunity to fix that now before it has a, a outward ripple effect. Like say, now your car is really down and you can't get to work and it's affecting, you know, your paper, your coin, other areas of life, beloved. You know, everything affects the whole. It's all connected. So if for somebody, you know what I mean, you going through this or you resonate with this in some kind of way, it's like, even if you feel like you got taken, that's, situation is making a way. I feel like it's making a way. It's making something else possible. Your dreams to become a reality. So if somebody stole something from you, then yeah, um, I feel like it's going to work well for you. Either the learning, I mean, depending on how it's called to turn out, I feel like it's still going to be all to the good. But for this instance, I feel like it's going to be really good. It's going to be good. Like it's either heading something off major or is bringing something major in and that's the feeling that i'm getting i realize yes yeah, subconscious beliefs and or programs see it's something subconsciously that's making you worry you know or it's telling you to just get it so in delved and so deep within you the knowing that all things are possible if you believe 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 program yourself to believe and believe it instantly because the resistance that you put out those thoughts the, the anxiety the anxiousness it resonates and it pushes back you know i'm feeling whatever is supposed to manifest in your destiny but also self-appreciation and not just appreciation for self um but i feel like appreciation for all things itself because those things again are strengthening us is making us stronger as long as you continue to dig into self and pour into you and hold on to that hold on to what the most high god has showed you has told you know it believe it like together you the alpha omega y'all partnering together could definitely make every dream possible every dream is possible all things are possible thank you bless you for your messages Bless the Alpha and Omega for being here, for bringing these messages. This is your girl, Lati, here at Tears of the Week to Show Show you show enough, never know what you're going to get. Conscious focus. What I focus on, I attract more of. 
Starting today, I will be more conscious of what I choose to spend my time speaking or thinking of. I say the Alpha and Omega said that already. Anywho, um, I will do more of the things that bring me joy, lighten up, right? Play, childlike spirit. We got that energy for some to really lighten up, to bring more of that into your life. More good things, do more good things, do more things that make you feel good. Tune in, tune in to self. Today, before doing what I normally do, I will take a moment to slow down to place my hands at my heart. And we saw this heart in open. Place your hands on your heart, right? And it says, take a few deep breaths. So much better. Take a few deep breaths and I will ask myself what I truly want and I will honor how I'm feeling. What do you truly want? And whatever that answer is, honor it, beloved. Know that I am enough. And I keep getting called to this book on the self-appreciation card that happens to say, I am enough. Know that you are enough. Everything that is you, your call, your decree, every possibility and potentiality is enough to meet the current need. It is there, beloved. Yes, creator of happiness. You create your own happiness. Create it from the inside out. Transmute this energy. I reclaim my power to create my own joy and happiness. It is not dependent on any outside source or individual. Therefore, it cannot be taken away. Don't let any situation take away your joy and your happiness. For joy is not of this world, right? It belongs onto the Alpha and Omega, that which created it. That's where it belongs. It was given on to you. It's a part of your calling and decree to be joyous, to be happy, to find things that make you happy play beloved there's nothing says that we just gotta grow up like i mean we if you ain't gonna be no kid you're supposed to be responsible right accountable for the learning right the lessons that we get and apply it to be diligent to be committed to be determined queen of source energy you know learning from those tests that create the testimony and you become more of a stronger warrior more edified more you know, that strength, strengthen, like I'm talking about of heart, perseverance, confidence, like you just know, knowingness, like, yes, like I know, beloved, like it ain't, uh-uh, no, that's what I'm getting, right? So she just knows, right? But I also feel like, you know, she just, it, it, it is, it's this posture that she's sitting in. She's not like nine of wands where she's just like standing there with the wine and she's just like ready to battle. She kind of sitting on her cushion. Her heart is here, but it's locked up. It's protected. Um, it is something about reading and knowing and analyzing, not over analyzing, but making a very intellectual decision. And we do that by taking the emotion out of it, by putting the emotion away, locking it up and handling the business at hand. Like being ready to listen, compromise, take everything in and make a good decision. And that gets us back to prenups, beloved. It ain't, it ain't personal, it's business is what I'm getting because you could just be together and I mean, in any aspect, you know, look, all is okay. That's what I'm getting though, for real balance, justice, because a lot of times people, you know, do shit and maybe folks be feeling like they don't have enough that they need to protect but you are enough protect you in every capacity it's not a big thing to say this is our agreement and i need you to sign it or you know what i mean or whatever the case may be all that i feel is okay i hold myself in love through the unsureness 
the worry, the doubt, the anger, the fear. I am thankful to feel the full range of emotions that I do. These emotions are the very contrast that leads me to my higher expansion. Yes, our highest self. And all while I was reading that, I can hear myself say I was mad with the spirit. Yeah, I'm okay to feel that. Who says that you can't get upset? The most high God gets wrapped. And if you are a pixel, a piece of it, don't you think you got wrapped, beloved? And if you don't have understanding of what's going on, why is this happening? You are going to feel a kind of way about the spirit, beloved. I mean, y'all see which one we wearing today just in honor and commemoration. Not that just these lives matter, all lives matter, but the group that I'm in. Shit, we be experiencing this existential crisis in terms of life preservation and multiple industries feeling like you've been continuously taken and wild, beloved. Shit, we ain't gonna get controversial in this episode. It could be a rabbit hole topic. Um, we haven't did any episodes in a minute, um, but we we feeling it. We got some resonance to go down the rabbit hole, beloved. This one. What's the tea? What's the tea that the spirit wants to bring? Everything is okay, though. Put down the worry, the doubt, the anger, the fear, anxiety, rejection, or a feeling of being overwhelmed. I'm thankful to feel the full range of emotions that I do. These emotions are the very contrast that leads to my higher expansion. To feel it, we acknowledge it, we release it, but give it its Give it its honor and do justice, beloved. We also see moving silence. I'm hearing the word meditation. Sometimes it's okay to spend the day without, you know, I mean, disconnecting, basically. I'm not just thinking about social media, but I'm just saying spend the day in quiet. You know, how often do we get the opportunity or take the opportunity to just be quiet, right? No music, no TV, no social media, you know, understandably if you have to work. But, you know, if you could spend an hour or two, you know, in quiet, just like hearing yourself and even working to quiet your mind, I feel like you will hear the most high God speak to you. Drama starter. Something's definitely going to come in and start some drama. Legal issues. See, contracts. Legal issues. Court, judges, immigration, law, lawyers, etc. Right? Somebody, yeah. If you are having legal issues with something, which we talked about contracts, move in silence. Silence is golden. Even if you spend time in silence, like a little bit, a day, an hour or two, you know, how, however much you can. I feel like you're going to hear things um, revealed on to you. We talked about it on the spiritual level. If you are thinking about your legal contract, your spiritual contract, rather, then the spirit will tell you something as you are moving in silence. If you are in court with somebody, maybe, you know, just move in silence. Do what you need to do and that's it. We see romantic love affair. This definitely wasn't it. See, upside down. It's like a broken relationship, right? Um, it could have been chemistry, something off sex or something. Look, what did I say? What did the spirit say? Somebody may actually have photo evidence of what was done to you. Something in the contract, something that you kept, something that is going to help you with this person that you may have invested in. Um, it may not even have been romantic, right? It could be business. It may not have anything to do with sex or a love, but you definitely have evidence of whatever happened. So we use the car analogy, right? You know, so put it in terms of that for however it fits for you, beloved. See, love triangle. Definitely not a love triangle. Um, I feel like you and some sort of industry. It's something that's bigger than just, you know, a relationship. It's something bigger than that. Right, 
again, we talking about industries. We talking about mortgage, real estate, commercial real estate. We talking about some sort of some sort of business deal, some sort of contract, um, or just. I do feel like marriages is an industry. That's a contract. The marriage certificate is a binding contract, and there's certain laws, fiduciary responsibilities in that marriage contract. And people should take the opportunity to establish any additional guidelines before they get married. You know, I don't think it's something that you have to put your heart into. I'm bothered. Um, I'm feeling unbothered in terms of releasing anxiety, doubt, worry, right? Bring yourself into a state of being unbothered, knowing that everything is going to be okay. Like all is okay. All is okay. Think about it in terms of now. Say it now. Not going to be because when is going to be, right? But if you say it's all okay now, it tells your body, it tells the universe to that it's okay. And the universe will obey that command. You call it, state it, be it. If you be okay, then it be okay. So be in this unbothered energy. See, somebody is overthinking, stressing, and overanalyzing, right? In their head. Believe, know that everything is okay. And operate from that. Ace of Wands, just know it. See, fake smiles. Somebody could be fake smiling. It could be the weak, you know, fake smiles. Don't fake it till you make it. Know it. Be it. Do something that's really going to make you smile, beloved. You are the creator of your own happiness is what I'm getting. Is that right? Yes. Bless you. Thank you for the affirmation and truth and clarity. For the benefit of your week, this is your girl, Lati, here. It's here's the week's real show. You show enough, never know what you're going to get, beloved. We definitely spiritual, but not religious, you know. We see somebody is uh, maybe trying to force something. Not necessarily, well, somebody is definitely bothered. Yeah, definitely bothered. Not necessarily threatening. Maybe the threat is, you know, to self and your own joy and your own peace. The spirit is saying, sit in this unbothered energy. You could be going from bothered to unbothered or unbothered to bothered by overanalyzing and overthinking. Bothered to unbothered, unbothered to bothered by way of overthinking, stressing, and overanalyzing. That is a trait of Queen of Swords in the low vibration. So you could be switching from low to high, like having them mood swings because the way that life be fucking life in. You know, force her. You could be trying to force things, force solutions, force yourself to smile, force using force to get what you want. Yes, using force to get what you want. When you rest in your happiness, your peace, your, um, I'm feeling that tempered resonance, like it's consistent, beating not anxiety and then low. Anxiety and then low. It's like come to balance inside of, with your own resonance. Like let your frequency be balanced and things will come in easy. You will attract them easy, queen rising. Right? See, it's definitely, you know, not right. That's what I was picking up. See, caught a case. For me, this card is legal, right? It's not always STD. It could be depending on what the Omega and uh, the Creed Alpha cause, you know what I mean? Omega and Alpha say. But they covered up this me medical card and it says caught a case. Somebody caught a case and one of the participants ain't shit and ain't lying and ain't got no motherfucking facts, beloved. That's what it is. This person is definitely a, a fucking happiness hater. And they upset because you moved on. Thank you, next. Some sort of somebody did or having a difficulty, a challenge moving on because Spirit put it in, set the whole deck in a challenge. Um, for some, and we did call this out, it could be a relationship, right? Um, marriages that break up, divorce, legal case. Legal issues, a case coming, some sort of photo evidence. It could also be against somebody, you know, else that you actually contracted with. But either way, a contract is involved, beloved. 
flight seer. Thank you guys so much, 3450. Um, we're at, I'm here wrapping it up shortly. We see, look, protect it. Protect yourself, right? Eight of Wands. Um, something happens, speed, or a lot of messages, a lot of communication. See, photo proof, messages, communication. You may have it. See, assets, investments. If you have assets, investments with someone, you definitely have a lot of protecting you or even a bubble around you or one message that got I'm here it came into you because that little bubble is one wine and looks like it could either be getting ready to penetrate or has penetrated, but she is completely surrounded out here by hedge or some sort of protection, right? But it is something that you have or something that was brought to you or, come or came to you. It could have come from somebody that was an adversary or something like that. I feel like that's what's going to be the key to end things um, in a new beginning to heal things, right? See, definitely a partnership or a lover situation. And you know it, just know it. I feel independency, self-sufficiency. I'm hearing sovereignty, a blessing coming in. A blessing coming in. Major blessing. I'm feeling the downpour. I'm feeling overflow. I'm feeling something being poured into you. Some sort of knowledge. Some sort of intuition. It could be a vision, right? It could be a, a spiritual gift of sight. You could be a seer. You know, we see death, an ending, right? That's definitely here. And behind that, we see prison. Anything else now? So, any other? This one. Something about peace, meditation. We talked about that, getting quiet, you know. Breathing, taking some deep breaths. Deep breathing, meditation, moving in silence for a bit daily. We have fresh out of fucks and embracing inner peace. Sasha. The wine is helping. Somebody may actually, you know, enjoy a nice glass of wine. The wine is helping. Maybe you are a wine drinker, a wine connoisseur. We definitely like wine. <laughs> We will take that advice for ourselves. It definitely resonates. Bless you, bless you, bless you. I say, I say, I say. Anything else in here, spirit? Say <laughs> no. That was it. <laughs> unplug, beloved. Unplug. That's what spirit said. Unplug. Unplug. See, I'm an off in an offline state of mind. Go into an offline state of mind and look. Slow the fuck down. Slow down. Spirit already said slow down. Take a hint from a sloth. Slow down. See, I'm getting this right here. If you slow down, instead of it being a fake smile, like you could turn it into a real one. Have a little glass of wine if you drink. Unplug, beloved. Raise your vibe one breath at a time. Do that for self. Queen of Cups, pour something into you. Pour into self. You know, life is life in and it's going to do what it's going to do. But if you believe that all things are possible, beloved, release the stressing and the overthinking. It's already decreed for you to be victorious, beloved. And see it, know it, be it. Know that all is okay. Even when you're going through the issues of the day. Thank you guys so much for joining us here on Tears of We Troll Show. You show enough, never know what you're going to get. We appreciate you and we love you, beloved. We do. We love you just like you are our first ones and twos. We love you because we love the Alpha and the Omega that was called and decreed us to be the infinite intelligence breathing because the word lives in this day. Yes, believe it. All things are possible, beloved. Ashe.